Robot in Three Days 2018, season number five, we've got FRC Power Up, this year's game. We did what we always do. We started off by watching the game animation and started to look at the strategies and look at the scoring and all that kind of stuff. And we started realizing that in this game, it's the first time in a while that strategy is actually very, very critical uh, into how you're gonna play it. And we didn't wanna just do what we normally do and just take the obvious thing and look at it. So this year, as opposed to the last few years, we're actually gonna delve a little deeper into the strategy because we feel that you guys need to do the same thing. Ranking points are what are used to decide what are the top eight teams that are gonna become Alliance captains that are then gonna go into the elimination rounds. So how do you get ranking points? Well, you get two for winning a match. However, there are other ways in this game to uh, obtain these ranking points. Uh, you have the face the boss, and you also have the auto quest. So, one of the things that you want to be able to do as a rookie team is make sure that you get your robot to drive forward. Because if you can get your robot an auto run past the line, and then one of the alliance partners on your team is able to own that switch, then you are going to get a ranking point, which is half as good as winning the entire match. And at the end of the game, if you can get all three robots up or two robots up and then one levitated, then that's another ranking point. So if you get those two things done, that is just as good as winning the match. This year's game involves a lot of strategy in terms of gameplay. For example, with the vault, in terms of scoring, you could hold some of the cubes and based on what the coach dictates is happening on the field, be able to play things more thoroughly. For example, it may take you 30 seconds to climb an end game. So you have to decide whether it's advantageous for you to go ahead and pursue the climb or to secure uh, three cubes for the levitate power-up ability. So depending on how your team plays, you may want to dictate whether it's important to go for the hang or just go for the levitate ability to secure those points. When we analyzed the height of the, the maximum height of the scale versus the maximum height of the hanging bar, we noticed that the difference in the maximum heights is roughly around six inches. Uh, we've come to determine that if you were to build a mechanism that could score in the highest form of the scale, you should also be able to build a mechanism that can hang off from the hanging tower as well. So one of the other things that we want to talk about is the strategy with the vault. And there are many different strategies that you can go with it. And a lot of people right now are thinking of the power boost and the force and the elevate. But one of the other things that we want to mention is that these power cubes are worth five points each, regardless of what you do with them. So a full vault is 45 points that you're able to achieve no matter how that you use them uh, with the different power ups. If you use it for the force or if you use it for the boost, the most you're going to get in bonus points is 10, but scoring just two of those power cubes anywhere around there is 10 points already. With all this said about all the power-up abilities for this year's game, they're serial, which means that if you enable one power-up and another alliance decides to enable their power-up, it's on a queue. So you have to wait for the first power-up ability to be exhausted, 10 seconds each, before the next one engages. Giving your alliance ample amount of time to enabling them is critical. Due to the incredibly narrow uh, width of our hanging bar this year, uh, teams may have to come up with creative ways to hang. Uh, you may have to have other robots hang off from your robot. You may have to deal with robots bumping into each other during hanging. Um, you might be able to lift other robots on platforms. Or you can also use the vault power-up with the levitation to minimize how much you have to lift. Uh, there's a lot of things to consider when designing for hanging this year. Just keep that in mind in your final design. So now that you've seen some of the deep strategy that we've discussed for this year's game, we wanted to outline for you really where we're going to go for Robot in three days. We don't go quite in depth with our strategy as far as our robot goes for this build because we're trying to keep it a little more generic, but we still want to get the points that we want. So first most important thing is picking up off the floor. Uh, the cubes off the floor. So we know that there's those 10 that are right there, right in front of your driver's station that you can get to the vault. Uh, there's also those six on either side that are behind the switches that are really easy to pick up and score. And we know that scoring cubes is really critical. So having a really effective floor pickup we think is paramount to playing a successful uh, game. Second most kind of half and forth is, is scoring in the vault. We think that it's possible that the vault scoring mechanism will likely be the same thing that will be picking them off the floor, but we don't know for sure, but we know scoring in the vault is really important. Like Barry said, you have a guaranteed 45-point play. If you can just get three 
of those cubes in there and get the levitate done. The next point on ours is gonna be scoring on the switch. The reason for that is there's two switches versus the one scale. So double the opportunities to be able to score and get those points because it counts the same on either of the three. So that would leave the third level is scoring on the scale. We think it might be possible that the same mechanism on like an elevator or a four bar or something like that can score on the switch and up in the scale. Um, so we don't think it's really that far off. Our fourth level is a hang. Uh, because of the fact that the space is really, really tight, and especially with the time that we have to put into engineering something, uh, we think it's not impossible for integrating a simple uh, hanging mechanism. Like Andrew said, there's only like six inches height difference between scoring on the scale versus hanging. So if you've already got some mechanism going up there, it's very likely you can make that thing hang. And the last thing is a double hang. We discussed that it's possible that you could have like a hook that has some bars that come off of it that other robots can grab onto. We're not gonna put any priority into it. If it happens, it does. Um, but we think that teams might be able to do it with their six weeks, but in our three days, we just don't think we have the engineering time to do that. So it's pretty late in the day. Uh, the strategy has taken us for a little bit of a loop to get things going. So we're a little behind the ball where we'd like to be. Um, but we're moving forward. We're gonna start building prototypes here shortly and uh, making awesome things. So stay tuned, make sure you like and subscribe. Peace out. Thank you.